The graph above shows the frequency distribution of a list of randomly generated integers between 0 and 10. What is the mean of the list of numbers? Be very, very careful here. This is why I call this video mean mean. It's a very mean question. Don't look at just the values of the numbers and for example do 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 because two of them have a frequency other than one in other words in your list we actually have three threes and four twos so let's write out all of our numbers in this list then add them up and then divide by the number of numbers to see what the average is so it's going to be 0 plus 1 plus 2 because we've got one of each plus three threes, plus two fours, no fives, plus six, plus seven, plus eight, and then plus 10. So now we'll go ahead and add all these up. So one plus two plus three is six. Oh, probably don't need this. Uh, one, three, six, nine, 12, 16, 20, 26, 33, 41, uh, 51. So hopefully I did that right. 3, 6, 9, 12, 16, 20, 26, 33, 41, 51. Looks good. And now we need the total number of numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? Because you got to count again. There's one of these, one of these, one of these, three of these, two of these, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we're going to divide 51 by 12. Let's see what we get. Not by 142. Gets me 4.25. And that's choice C. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.